Japanese lacquerware is universally admired, and lacquer artisans create many objects. A most beautiful form of lacquerware is called makie. Maki meaning a sprinkling and a a picture. The technique came from ancient China, and no two pieces are alike. Powders of gold and silver, even tiny slivers of eggshell, are used in makie creations. Five hundred kilometers northwest of Tokyo, on the Japan Sea, is the town of Wajima, famed for its lacquerware. This is where Shoichiro Tazaki, a makie artist, resides. He has been working at his craft for over 40 years. In making makie, a wet lacquer design is drawn, then colored powders are sprinkled onto the design. This sprinkling distinguishes a makie piece from lacquerware that is painted. Mr. Tazaki says that the skill in distributing the powder lies in the rhythm of the fingers. Minute changes in the tempo affect the powder's fall and the depth of the picture. A good makie piece takes about three months, but painstaking work is needed every step of the way. Lacquerware shops by the score abound in Wajima, and Mr. Tazaki is off to visit one for a meeting with a dealer. He regrets that today's fast-paced market conflicts with the time a good makie piece requires. This puts a great strain on the artist, since dealers always want his products in a hurry. <laughs> At Mr. Tazaki's workplace, several apprentices are creating lacquerware under his careful guidance. Some have come great distances to learn the techniques of this makie master. Among these apprentices is his daughter, Akiko. She has been learning the craft for seven years. He is proud of her fine progress. When he makes time to relax, Mr. Tazaki takes his staff to the local museum, which has a fine lacquerware collection. Makie themes invariably portray scenes of nature, and studying both ancient and modern Makie masterpieces always provides inspiration for future designs. In creating makie, tiny specks can collectively create a masterpiece, and Mr. Tazaki knows how to make every grain count. <laughs> <laughs> 